Hey, this is Dan from Bible Prophecy and Truth, and this is part 18 in the series on understanding the book of Revelation and the timeline of events. And we're going to talk about chapter 18 today. There's a couple of things I want to mention in this, is that uh, a lot of people say that chapter 18 is not the same as chapter 17, that it's talking about some different entity, that it's not the same woman of chapter 17. And uh, I don't believe that, and I'll show you why. Uh, first of all, there's a couple of things to mention about the wealth of the, chap uh, the Catholic Church. One of the reasons that people say it can't be the Catholic Church, which we've shown that chapter 17, that the, this great whore is almost certainly the Vatican, they say that, well, chapter 18 can't be referring to her because she doesn't, you know, make the world rich. And they say that it's got to be the United States or New York or something else. Uh, but we've proven that to be incorrect, that it can't be New York in the last video. It can't be the United States. It's got to be something else that matches all of the prophetic statements, right? So one of the things about the Catholic Church is like, uh, for example, Pope John Paul I. Most people don't know much about this Pope because he only lived for one month after his election in 1978. And he mysteriously died because he was about to expose the Vatican Bank's corruption. <laughs> uh, there's, there's a scandal in 2013. Uh, insiders exposing the corruption of the Catholic Church and the Vatican there's an article I have here. Uh, the wealth of the Roman Catholic Church is impossible to, ca to calculate. The, the Vatican Bank is very corrupt, very rich. The, the wealth of the Catholic Church goes way beyond uh, what anyone even imagines. They are super, super rich. They, and if you think about it, how many parishes, how many churches do they have around the world? Thousands all over the place and they're and uh, they're buying things all the time so uh, the the statement that the catholic church can't be this entity because she doesn't make the merchants of the world rich uh, i don't think that really fits uh, it, she's very rich and she definitely makes the merchants of the world rich you know like, like verse 11 the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn for no man buyeth their merchandise anymore. That's it. Certainly can be said of the Catholic Church if she were to go away completely, that there would be a lot of money no longer being spent and a lot of merchants that you know sell to her that no longer can. So it it definitely fits. Uh, one of the other uh, things is it, in Revelation 17 we have many many statements made that match Revelation 18. And I'm going to go through the list here real quick. Uh, first of all, remember that the earthquake and the end of the vials, the end of the pouring of the wrath of God, is going to be the greatest earthquake the world has ever seen, and it's going to destroy Rome. It says, uh, specifically, Great Babylon came in remembrance before God. And so Rome is going to fall. It's the spiritual Babylon. It's not the Babylon of the time of Daniel. Remember, it, it's not that same city that existed 2,500 years ago. It's the spiritual Babylon. It's a, it's a spiritual a visual representation, basically, of a sinful uh, entity, is what Babylon means in this particular uh, instance. So it's, it's not the same city. We have to remember that. It's a spiritual Babylon. It's this great whore. And so let's look at the, the similarities with chapter 17. In 17.5 and 18.2, we see that it's the same name, Babylon the Great. Uh, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots, abomination of the earth, earth in 17. And chapter 18, uh, he cried with a mighty strong voice saying, Babylon the Great is fallen. We have the same name. In Revelation 17.2 and Revelation 18.3, we have the same fornication with the kings of the earth. The kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the inhabitants of, of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. All nations have drunk the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Uh, it's exactly the same. 17.4 and 18.16, she's decked with gold, arrayed in purple and scarlet color. Same thing in 18. 
clothed in fine linen, purple and scarlet, decked with gold and precious, precious stones and pearls. Exactly the same thing. Revelation 17, 18 and 18, 16. The woman which thou sawest is that great city. In 18.16, alas, alas, that great city. Uh, in 17.6, 18.24, drunk with the blood of the saints. Uh, saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. In 18.24, in her was found the blood of the prophets, blood of prophets and of saints, and all that were slain upon the earth. In Revelation 17.4 and 18.7, we see that she's a woman. The woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color. In 1817, how much hath she glorified herself and lived deliciously? Uh, 171 and 1810, judgment is come to her. I shall, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore. In 1810, for in one hour thy judgment is come. And then remember that the earthquake from Revelation 16:19 destroys this entity. Great Babylon came in remembrance. And then 1821, we see a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus, with violence, shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. She's going to be completely swallowed up in this massive earthquake that happens at the end of the wrath of God. And then a final warning that I like to point out here. If, if, if you're a Catholic and this is upsetting you, just please study it out for yourself. I have a web page that talks about the inception of the Catholic Church. It's BibleProphecyAndTruth.com slash truth slash Catholic origin or under my notes menu, the origin of the Catholic Church. And it has all the information about where the Catholic Church came from, how she started, uh, everything about her and uh, the inception uh, of the Catholic Church with Constantine in 1325 or 325 AD sorry not 13 325 AD is when the Catholic Church was was created by Emperor Constantine so please read that please study it out and and please look at everything and and if you believe all this and you know this to be true then pay attention to this warning here Revelation 18:4. I, I heard another voice from heaven saying come out of her my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. If you love Jesus, and you're in this church, or if you're in any of the daughters, if you're in any of the, the false churches of today that teach like the Catholic Church does, that doesn't teach the whole truth, that has some watered-down churchianity doctrines, which is the vast majority of all the churches, the denominations that are out there today. Think about that. If you really love Jesus, come out of her. Come out of the daughters. Come out of the Catholic Church. Serve Jesus and get away from those whores, the harlot, and her daughters. So I will see you in... Uh, part 19 and we'll study chapter 19 the uh, where the battle of Armageddon takes place God bless you